Hello everyone. In this session, I'll talk about Excel download in SAP UI5 applications with formatting. So the requirement is to download and Excel the Northwind O data service uh, in this specific format or any format that you want. Uh, so as you can see, there is some header information. Uh, then it's uh, grouped by some categories. So grouping and aggregation of line items. Uh, you have multiple line uh, multiple lines uh, in a single cell. There is some bold formatting. Uh, there is alternate uh, colors, row colors. Uh, there is highlighting of cell values. Uh, you can also have some subheaders, subtotals, and also like main totals and whatever kind of uh, formatting you want. Um, so this is the requirement to download an Excel spreadsheet in this format. Uh, now, if you look at the SAP UI5 demo kit, uh, you will notice that uh, the UI5 framework has some formatting. Uh, so there are some examples in the SAP UI5 demo kit. Uh, but the formatting is very minimal. Uh, there is uh, none of the colors, the none of the bold, uh, none of the alternate row colors, and so on. Um, so how do we achieve formatting with SAP UI5, custom formatting with SAP UI5? Uh, so the short answer is no. Uh, the SAP UI5 framework does not support custom formatting. Uh, but what we can do is we can achieve this with some HTML5, CSS, and JavaScript. Uh, and uh, the way we do it is we manipulate the DOM and add some custom HTML elements to it, and then we are able to achieve this custom formatting. Uh, so let me give you a demo of uh, what uh, we have right now. Uh, so I have my SAP UI5 application running here. Um, and then if I click on the Excel download right here, uh, this is going to download the Excel in the format that I have shown. So it is going to uh, download the Excel in basically this format uh, that we just saw. Uh, so how do we achieve this? Um, so the way we achieve this, uh, like I said, is um, let me open this up. Um, the way we achieve this is not through the SAP UI5 framework. Uh, so you can see that it has all the formatting that uh, we wanted. Uh, the way we achieve this is uh, using HTML5, CSS, and JavaScript. Uh, so therefore, uh, I'm going to walk you step by step, uh, but I'm not going to use an SAP UI5 application. I'll put a link to the source code down below on how I achieved this, uh, but I'll walk you through a simple HTML5 application, and uh, that should uh, give you a good idea of how to do it. So let's start with a very simple HTML5 application here. I have a HTML5 application, and I also let me, yeah, let me go to Git checkout port zero, and you can see like uh, at this moment I have uh, just a plain index.html, and on the right side I have the browser open, and uh, there is nothing in it because this is a simple uh, index.html. Uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a few elements to this uh, HTML. And what I've done here is uh, I've added a button here, Excel download button. Button doesn't do anything at this moment. And the key thing here is that I've added an A tag. And this is uh, key to our uh, uh, download of uh, custom formatting. Now, the idea is uh, this A tag, um, what I want to do eventually is I want to have this href tag. And I want to have uh, the table structure right here. Uh, any, like whatever table I want, I just want the entire table structure right here, something like this. Uh, so this is what I want to do, OK? Uh, so let me remove this for now. Um, but um, the href attribute is going to have the table outer HTML. OK, so the next step what I want to do is um, I'm going to put the table outside. Uh, now, like I said, uh, the table is not going to be outside. So this is just plain HTML5 table. Uh, but this table is not going to be outside. The reason I just put it outside is you can see how the table looks like here. And you can make modifications to it and so on. Uh, but ideally, I want this table to be the href attribute. OK, uh, so right now, uh, I just copy that sim simple HTML5 table. And this is how the output of the table looks like. Now, the next step, what I'm, and this can be any table that you are interested in. And right now, this table doesn't have any kind of formatting, like you can see, uh, just the column headers. And this is a plain HTML5. 
And next thing what I want to do is I want to add some formatting to this table. Uh, so here what I've done is I've added some inline formatting to this table. And this is key. Uh, what you want to do is you want to add some inline uh, style to this uh, table. And now you can see that the table is uh, taking shape. Uh, it has alternate row colors, a little bit of uh, formatting, and nothing fancy. Uh, but this is just uh, uh, just a tutorial on how to do it. Uh, so I've added some inline formatting here. I've given the table an ID of customers table. I've given the ID for a tag as customers link. I've also given an ID for the uh, button as well. Now, like I said, this table is not going to be outside. Uh, it's going to be part of this href like this. Uh, but I'm just showing it outside because if I put the table inside like this href, you won't be able to see it. So that's why I'm just putting it outside. Uh, but ideally, you don't want to put it outside because then it'll show up in your SAP UI5 application. Okay. Um, so the next step, uh, this is the most crucial one, is I've you can see that I've added an X, uh, a script tag. Uh, so I've added uh, Excel.js as one of the script. And uh, you can s and if we go into this Excel.js file, uh, you can see that I've added a download button add event listener for the click. Uh, so this is our download button. I've added a click event, and then I've added this function download Excel. Now let's look at this download Excel. Uh, so this download Excel takes three parameters. Uh, one is the ID of this table, and the other is the ID of this A tag that we were talking about, the key A tag, and then the name of the file that you want to download. Okay, now the key thing here is um, 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 we get the A tag. Uh, let me go through the steps. Um, so we get the table element here. Uh, so we have the table ID, we say document.getElementById, we get this uh, table structure, and we get the outer HTML, uh, we replace any space with percent %20, so with some encoding right here. And then we also get the A tag uh, element as well, uh, so plain JavaScript right here. And these three steps, I guess you can skip, it's for Internet Explorer, uh, so you can skip this. Uh, now, this is the key line here. Uh, so like I said, we want the href to point to the table HTML. So we are saying a, a hyperlink hyperlink.href. Hyperlink now denotes the a tag. Um, and the href attribute, we are setting it to the table outer HTML. And also, this data type needs to be uh, exactly this. Uh, so this allows you to download it as an Excel. And from here, the next two lines are fairly simple. We are triggering the click but, uh, click event of this A tag, and then we also specify the file name. Uh, so by doing this, uh, you can see that it will download as an Excel. Give me one second. Where is the Excel download? And it's uh, going to download that file. And you can see that it downloaded the, the file uh, just like what we have. Uh, so it has alternate row colors and so on. And you can make this table as fancy as you want. Uh, so uh, based on your creativity, you can make it as fancy as you want. At this moment, uh, um, just this alone. But let me just at least change the header to a different color. Uh, so you see that it's working. So in part five, uh, all I'm doing here is uh, I'm changing the column headers to red. And uh, then let's see what happens. Um, and then the download happens, and you will see that uh, the column headers are red. Uh, so design your table uh, whatever way you want. Um, and then just add this a tag in your uh, H in your DOM structure, and then add this as the href. Uh, and like I said, you can have uh, some kind of a function that returns this uh, table. Uh, you don't need to add this directly to the DOM. Otherwise, it'll show up in the DOM. So we don't want to do that. Um, okay. So you do this, and then you can download it. Um, and what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to sh uh, share the uh, the code for the SAP UI5 application. Uh, so like I said, I have this SAP UI5 application. Uh, and this allows us to take the Northwind database um, and download 
the Northwind database in this structure right here uh, with like a header information uh, grouped by category and so on. So I'll, I'll paste the uh, code for the GitHub link. Uh, and if you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask me. Uh, more than happy to help. Thank you.